Hi everyone. Here I go against uh, Grandmaster from Spain. I wonder who he is. I probably won't know him anyway. Oh, Simon Adjustine. Uh, this is uh, Carlson's trainer. I've beaten him before, but obviously he's very strong. I have a very high rating now. His is pretty low at the moment. But what are you going to do? Um, so, you know, it's not a good deal for me rating wise because, you know, he's, he's obviously a very experienced and strong player. You know, um, and I only gain like eight, seven or eight points if I win, and I lose like 24 if I lose. So, stuff like this is why hard, it's hard to be 2,500 when guys like this are, are 2,300. You know, like what, what do you expect from me? What can I possibly do when faced with this type of uh, scenario? I just, honestly, against this line, I just play natural moves and just hope for the best. I know it's equal, uh, approximately equal. But it's playable for white. I'm going to move fast, you know. I mean, he's spending a lot more time than I feel like he needs to right now. So I'm going to try to, you know, just play some natural moves quickly. Get up on the clock. And when things get interesting, you know, be up a minute on the clock or something. And then maybe I'll be able to use that to my advantage. I'll probably play bishop e3 next move. Because there's not so many great places to put that bishop. Um... He takes, I'll take with a knight. Uh, I kind of want to keep these on the board for some reason, so I'm just going to go here. I couldn't quite tell you why. He can go bishop e6, maybe. Oh, I can take and queen b3, then queen c8. Uh, you know what? Just put his rook on that silly square. Alright, now what? This looks useful somehow. So that I can go for g3 when his knight comes to f4 with some kind of knight g1 plan. So I'm just getting ready for it. And as you see, like promised, I have a one minute edge on the clock. This is exactly what I wanted. Now, do I go knight g1 right away? Is it, eh, I'm just going to do it. Typical plan. Knight g4. Pawn takes queen h4. Knight h3. I don't lose. Somehow it felt close, though. All right. So he's going to try to stop me from... All right, I'm just going to go like this to start. He's trying to stop my g3 move. But I'm like, okay, whatever. Your queen's in c8, buddy. So enjoy yourself. <laughs> um, I'm going to go knight e3 next move. i got to watch out for my d pawn, actually. Sorry. Maybe I'll play either d4... Hmm. Just go rook to d1. I don't know. Look at the time edge. You see, this is what's going to help me in this game. My position, the position's about even. I mean, look at it, right? Nothing too exciting is happening for either side. But I have this time edge. That's what blitz is all about. And there's no increment, so I'm going to use it. And, and obviously, I'm I'm doing. This is a good move, stopping um, me from playing the move. Stopping me from playing the move b4, thereby trying to make my b3 pawn a weakness. What I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do this. Planning to go b4 anyway. He wants to put his knight on c5 to attack my my b3 pawn. I think rook a6 makes a lot of sense here. This move does too. Um, I'm going to do this, attack his rook. I'll go rook a3 prophylactically, maybe at some point. Can I go b4 here? I thought I could, so I'm just going to do it. This was my plan. I hope I didn't miss something. I think he has to move his knight away, and then we're going to figure out what to do. Probably some kind of build-up move, like rook a2, maybe? Maybe rook a4? I'm not sure ex Okay. He wants to go a4, I guess. Well, I'm going to let him. I'm going to trade this knight. It actually looks kind of annoying to me. He'll probably do some kind of b5-like move. But look at the clock. Let's put my rook somewhere where it may, will be more useful. That looks like a good move. Somehow my queen looks good here, eyeing his rook. He'll probably move his rook out of the way now. 
And then I'll go knight f3, I think. Yeah, I'm really thinking about the clock now, because position's approximately balanced still. I mean, rook d6 or something makes sense, or rook, I don't know, rook somewhere. Rook d6, ah, uh, strange move to me. I'm going to go here. Notice the clock. It keeps on ticking. I've gotten so much better at my clock management recently. It's, it's made big difference in my results, I think. At some point, I'm going to just take on... You know what? Let's try knight h4. This looks um, appropriate. Hmm. I, maybe I blundered a pawn. Whatever. Again, this is the good news when you're up on time. Probably get away with it. It's not ideal, of course. Uh, rook d. Okay, now I'm gonna try to think. Rook d7. I, I'm scared of. I don't know what I'm scared. I, I may just go queen f3. Try to pin this guy. Seems like a little awkward. I mean, he can trade with knight d6, but then I trade queens, go rook d7. I get good, very good play. Oh, I get very good play for this material here. Uh, knight f5 for in some knight e7 crap. I don't know. Do this. c6 rook back to d7. It's troublesome. And notice I'm up, uh, oh, I can take on e5 too. I'm up like two whole minutes in the clock. Yeah, he's up a pawn. But I have pressure. Um, I think rook, this looks like the best move. Just keep the pressure. It can barely move the knight. Uh, oh, I didn't see that. Obviously, it's still very unpleasant for him, but somehow he's... I can't find a way to crush him. I'm just going to slowly try to uh, torture him here. Hmm. This looks like a good move. Repeat once because of the clock situation. Oh, I didn't see that. I keep thought... <laughs> don't even don't even worry about what I thought. Um, right, I'm gonna have to go back. He has 20 seconds. Is the good news. So hopefully I can just escape with my knight somehow. I guess I can go here. I obviously I botched it up, but he has 14 seconds. So good luck, man. Um. Ah, knight a4, is it good? It's probably okay. I just want I shouldn't do anything committal though, quite honestly. But I kind of want to win legitimately. I, I, mean, I think knight a4 is okay. The problem is I, I know I can just win on time if I just don't do anything risky. So... I'm just going to do this, but... Kind of disgraceful. Ah, I'll just take this. He needs eight seconds, so. Let's do this. Of course, I mean, he's going to lose in time, of course. Hmm. <laughs> I win on time. Uh, yeah, I, I know it's not the most beautiful game, but this is where you saw a lot of um, chess, like blitz strategy. You spell this guy's name. I'm very, very fast and on the net often. Uh, so let's let's talk about that game. And uh, one of the reasons why my rating has shot through the roof is because I'm really playing well with the clock, not just on the board, but clockwise, man. Just fantastically well lately. You know, because beating a guy like this, like that, is not easy. I gained freaking seven points beating this guy, like, super experienced grandmaster. It's ridiculous. Um, but this game, I had to make some key decisions. See, one thing that's true is when we go to a king and pawn endgame, so take a look at this position. 
of course I have huge compensation. I must just be better here. I just I made a few mistakes somewhere. I think so it's like equal. I mean knight ninety eight was a horrible move. Um King E4 didn't make any sense either. Rook E7. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Oh, Rook E8. Okay. Makes sense. What's who's talking to me here? Last warning. Um, so I played some random ass moves. This was horrible. <laughs> and he traded the Rooks, which is good. And, and the key here is like, I think I have to move Knight takes A4. Here's the problem. It's much easier to defend the king and pawning game. It could just be a dead draw. Like, take, take. I, mean, I didn't want to calculate. I felt like if I don't go knight takes a4, I'm going to win 100% of the time. Yes, I might end up losing on the board. All I care about is the win, though. That's the point of chess is to win, whatever the rules are. Um, but, of course, I saw this. I think it's fine for me. Let's see what Houdini says. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. He can just ignore it. So, like, if he does anything, it's annoying. But if he just ignores it, what do I do? As soon as I move my knight, I mean, I would probably just give it up at that point. Like, b3, e4, why is this winning? I'm just curious. Oh, he has to pass a pawn. All right. So, it doesn't quite um save the day. This was risky. I probably should just go king c2. I shouldn't give him any, any pass pawns or anything like that. And he'll just lose some time. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, who knows if he would have found it in 12 seconds. I would just go back, and this is, you know, I'm going to win on time again. But the main point was I thought, like, maybe even this end game. I, I had a feeling it was good for me, honestly. Yeah, it is. But I, I just knew I was going to win on time, so I didn't go for it. But hey, everyone, I just want to make an announcement, because this is really important to the channel. Uh, and I'm going to do this a lot of games. If you guys like this channel, if you like to uh, see more videos and more action, you should advertise this channel. You should post it on blogs, post it on Reddit, wherever you think. Whenever you see an exciting game that really interests you, um, where cool stuff happens, post it somewhere, and you will be my best friend. Because that's what it's going to take to uh, build this channel up, is more and more help from you guys. I suck at advertising, man. It's just not my thing. So I need the people to help me. Thanks all. See you next time. Bye-bye.